In this video, I will teach you how to build three different Kinex launches for your roller coasters. Before I teach you how to build them, I'm going to walk you through how they work. The first is a simple chain with a rubber band attached to the chain and it just goes back. How this one works is you simply pull the chain and there's this locking mechanism where you push these little pieces into the gear so then it locks it in place. So then when you're ready to launch, you just send the car down. The next is a little more complicated. I have a rod going through here, which has a locking mechanism on this side. So it's able to twist this way, but not this way. And then down here, we have connected to the rod, we have a little winch, which has the, a string wrapped around it, which will then, if we twist it, it will get pulled this way. And what is connected to this, this is where the car will be connected to is a rubber band that goes around all the way to over here. So then once it is fully brought back and then we put the car into place, we can then pull the lever to release the car. The three different launches can all be built in pretty much the same way. Starting with the launch track, you should build up a structure like you see here. There's no right or wrong way of doing this, however you should build it up at least one blue rod length. The first section here is for the chain launch. This has the mechanism to hold the chain back until you're ready to launch. It's basically a black chain gear on a rod with the yellow gear as the locking mechanism. For the other end, you just need a gear for the chain to return on. Now you can simply attach the gear sections to the launch track. This next step isn't required, but I highly recommend adding in spinal track. It'll help the track stay smooth, especially on the next launch. Before you add the spinal track on, you should make sure to leave room for the chain. And also, if you're struggling with it, you can add in little supports like these to make it a bit easier. It's also maybe a good idea to use gray rods instead of the green flexies. After all that, you can add on the track chain guides, and the chain itself. Now to make it functional. Simply add in a few rubber bands to the chain and loop them through a blue rod. Then just crank it back to stretch out the rubber bands and pull the lever to launch. Keep in mind that you may need to add more rubber bands or make the track longer to make it work better. Now for the cable launch. It has the same locking mechanism as the chain launch and just has a couple differences. Instead of a gear, there is a system built out of four blue rods and two white connectors to pull the string back. You can see here that when you twist it, the string wraps around the rods which pulls it back. Make sure that you have the string go through a hole like on the orange connector here to stop the string from going everywhere after it launches. To build the catch car, you just need to tie a string through one of the holes in an orange connector, as well as the rubber band like this. On the opposite end, it's the exact same as the chain launch, only with a wheel with the tread taken off.
After you get them connected to the launch base and add in all the track, you need to add something for the string and catch guard to go on top of. Here I use some cardboard and hot glued it onto the track. Then you can line up the catch car and have the rubber bands go around the wheel and blue connector to lock them into place. For the third launch, it's just what I showed earlier, a rubber band connected to the chain with the simple mechanism to allow the train to flip over a lever to release the chain and then launch the car. And with that, you should be able to build three different Connects launches for your roller coasters. Let me know if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see. Anyways, thanks for watching and good luck building.